right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Welcome to what I eat in a day. So I'm excited to present this to you guys. So most of the time I'm up pretty early, I'm usually up somewhere between 5 and 5.30. And so the very first thing that I'm interested in is getting coffee. I love coffee, some dark roast coffee. So basically before I go run, you know, I'm going to get a glass of water and then I'm going to get coffee. So very exciting here. So in the morning before I run, it's normally just regular coffee, a little bit of half and half. We're good to go. This is when I take a few minutes to um, get on Instagram, read some comments, uh, do a little bit of research, and then I'm usually out the door within about 30, 35 minutes. So this is the first thing that I do. All right. <laughs> So as soon as I'm done running, the very first thing that I want to do, well, two things that I want to do is one, I want to get my heart rate down. You know, even if I had a really easy run, you, know, you get really amped up. And I think a lot of people kind of go through their day, especially if you work out in the morning and you're just kind of, you know, getting that, all that adrenaline. So you want to kind of bring it down. So taking a few seconds to stretch, one of my favorite things to do is to come love on this sweet foot. This is our dog. This is Callie. She's a 15 year old Chow Shepherd. So I like to give her some loves and some kisses. And, so just taking a minute to kind of do some deep breathing, do some stretching, you know, whatever you need to do um, to kind of get your heart rate down. But this is actually an important step that I think, <laughs> I think a lot of people skip. So I'm um, gonna get a you know, glass of fluid and then my next meal uh, will be within about an hour. All right, so this is the first meal of the day. So normally, you know, as soon as I'm done running it, the clock starts ticking. You know, you've got to get the dog walk, I have the chickens fed, and you got to get food going, and then it's time to get to work. So my first meal, I usually go ahead and make um, my breakfast and lunch at the same time. So I do eat three times a day generally. So here's here we go. This is what I got going. So this is tallow. This is beef tallow. We actually make our own tallow. So I like to get, I got two pans going here. I like to get a good amount of tallow. I don't measure, but you're just kind of like popping off a pretty solid block. You can see a nice block here. Get it in the pan. This pan behind me, I'm only gonna use a small amount of tallow. I really want most of that tallow to go in this pan. So what am I making, you guys? I'm making ground beef. <laughs> it's simple, it's my favorite thing. We get all of our beef from Kukulin Farms. Um, it's a local regenerative farm. It's about 75 minutes away from where we live. I have an interview coming up with Farmer Christy. Um, you guys don't wanna miss that, it's awesome. All right, so as the tallow is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my beef. Do, 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 do. You always wanna have sound effects and sing to yourself. All right, and the other pan, so the other pan, what am I doing? Everyone's favorite, I got beef liver, right? So liver is important, you guys. I do believe in liver, I believe in the power of liver. I think it's really important. I think it's a great thing to eat at least a few times a week. It is not one of my favorite foods for sure, but the nutrition is unmatched. So how I cook liver is I wanna sear and sear real quick on both sides. All right, my beef pan is getting warm here. So how much beef? This is a pound that I've got right here, and this is a half a pound. So I wanna make about a pound and a half also, wash your hands. I obviously washed my hands before I touched all this. Now that I've touched some raw meat, I'm going to go wash them again. All right. So we got this going. And it's down and down in tallow. And then do not go easy on the salt. We got rum and sea salt here. And we are going to go for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear it on both sides. And yeah, then just kind of put it on low and let it cook until it's done. All right, you guys, so now this is meal one. So this is pretty typical. We've got a pretty good serving here of ground beef. Got some liver. And you know, we've already salted it when we were cooking, but I definitely like to add more salt. This is just Redmond sea salt. Definitely want to add some fat, specifically if you're not having carbohydrates, you know, fat is making up a large portion of your calories. So, um, I don't measure one thing I'm really happy about. I don't measure, I don't count calories. You want to get a pretty good serving. You can let that start to melt. Also second cup of coffee, I'm a big fan of coffee. Um, I'll either mix in like butter, sometimes a little bit of coconut oil. I'm a huge fan of primal coffee creamer, you guys. 
this stuff is amazing. It's got the collagen protein, it's got um, grass-fed ghee, really, really delicious, especially if you've come from where you're using like a lot of the sugary coffee creamers. This stuff is amazing. Love it, love it, love it. So this is meal one. So if I'm in very, very heavy training, meal one will be slightly different. So my second meal and my dinner meal are almost always the same. But during really heavy periods of training, specifically when I was getting over 80 miles a week, we did this exact same thing, but there was one thing that changed. Long fermented sourdough. So that was the difference. <laughs> this would be a, this is not heavy training. This is heavy training. We would add a little bit of those uh, slow burning carbohydrates, all right? So this is meal one. So what is meal two? So meal two, usually if I, you know, when I get a break um, during work sometime between one and three o'clock, I would just have more ground beef, you guys. This is what we made earlier when we were cooking all the ground beef. So just another serving of protein, a little bit of salt. I might add a little bit of butter to it, but this is just a little bit of extra, extra protein, extra carnitine, creatine, zinc, B12, all the great things that are in beef. And that's just going to get me through until the dinner meal. So as you'll see at dinner, Green is a, a much more creative chef than I am. So yeah, all right, here we go. We'll uh, we'll keep going until the dinner meal. All right, you guys, it's time for dinner. Okay, so I'm in charge of cooking. You guys watched Michelle cook earlier, so you guys know how that went. So I normally do dinner. Um, we do two different things, uh, either ghee or tallow for most of our cooking. Uh, if I don't want flavor, I do the tallow. Otherwise, I do like ghee because I like a little bit of flavor. So I am cooking salmon tonight that we've been marinating today and some carrots. Um, for the carrots, I do want a little bit of flavor, so I'm actually going to put a little bit of our ghee in the pan. And then <laughs> the salmon, well, Callie should be in every video, so that's okay. You can hear her. She's always hopeful for food. Um, the salmon, I don't really want like a butter flavor in there because I'm doing like an Asian kind of seasoning. So um, I'm going to do the tallow. Um, the great thing about it is it really does not impart any flavor on whatever dish you're making. So um, it's a great thing to use. We do render our own tallow and then we fire our meat. That's a little warm for salmon, but that's okay. <laughs> so we have been marinating this. And this was also from Cuckoo Land Farms. I love you. <laughs> I'm also supposed to not be in video, so you're that. doing great. Okay. What do we got here? Um, so carrots and the ghee. My my favorite easy thing for carrots is actually just a little bit of onion, like uh, onion powder and salt. So and cooked in ghee. And it's the only thing I pretty much ever do in carrots because it's my favorite thing. Carrots are naturally a little bit sweet, and onions are actually naturally a little bit sweet, so it makes a really good combination. Got our red minty salt. Yep, and so I'll let those cook. Um, for the salmon, we you know we do salmon not very often, maybe a few times a month. All right, you guys. So Karina has just finished making an amazing dinner. So. This is what we usually have. You know, it's a usually a, either a serving. Most of the time it's going to be beef, but we're having salmon tonight. Have a little bit of carrots. Carrots is kind of my go-to vegetable. And I almost always have sourdough in the evening, y'all, unless I'm not running at all. You know, even if I'm running very low mileage, I'm going to be having night and like carbohydrate in the evening. As you saw earlier, if I'm high mileage, I'm going to have it in the morning and the evening. And lots of butter. <laughs> we go through a lot of butter in this house. So thank you, Kareem. You're amazing. Uh, excited to go eat this. 